Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and you probably take your heart for granted. It does its 100,000 beats a day, and so long as it's behaving itself, you don't give it a second thought. But when it does decide to cause a fuss, it's actually both frightening and frustrating because your choices are to stay home, do nothing, and hope it goes away, go to the ER and have them do an EKG on your heart, but that's expensive even with insurance, and you may be there 12 hours, 24 hours, depending if they want to do more tests, or make an appointment with a cardiologist, but good luck getting in in less than two weeks. It's so frustrating not knowing what's going on with your heart. Well, the heart check pen says it's gonna end that frustration. The heart check pen is basically a mobile EKG machine. It can record up to 20 readings of your heart, store them, it lets you see it on the little screen here. Download it onto your computer, you can look at it, you can print it out, you can email it to your cardiologist. Now the only places I've seen this for sale are at the company's website and at Amazon, so I'll put links to both of those down below this video. Sometimes you'll get a better price at Amazon. The idea behind this is that it's small and lightweight, you have it with you all the time, so if you feel something weird going on with your heart, you can get a permanent record of your EKG right at that moment. If you've ever had to deal with trying to track down something that you think is going on with your heart, but by the time you get to the ER or you get to the cardiologist, your heart rhythm's back to normal and they do all the tests and say, oh no, you're fine, but you know something weird occasionally happens, this may be the way to get to the root of that problem. Now this is pricey, about $260, but when you think about what it's doing, a, a version of what $1,000 machines at the doctor's office or in the uh, ER can do for you, it's actually pretty good. It's also FDA approved, which is sort of an interesting story. Let me tell you how that works. Now you've been able to get a portable EKG typed machine with a doctor's order, but it's not usually something where you can actually see the readout and see the EKG itself. It records the data, which gets transmitted to a service or to the doctor's office. And it's still the case that a doctor has to give an order for the use of this. Now you don't need any doctor's order to buy it. The way it works is they give you one free EKG with it. Your very first one is free and it goes to the service of the company that makes this product. It goes there, a doctor will look at it, presumably the first time you try it out it's just a normal reading. They check out your EKG and they basically sign off on this being an approved device for you to use. So it unlocks it once they give that approval and then after that you can see your EKG here as you're uh, checking it out. You can check out the old ones, you get software on your computer where you download it onto that, you can see it and print it from there, email it and so forth. And if you like, you can submit your future EKG readings from this machine to that company and you have your choice of having a technician look at the reading or having an actual doctor look it over and they'll give you back a report. This isn't an instantaneous thing so this doesn't um, preclude you going to the emergency room or calling 911 if you think there's a major event happening with your heart but just for that weird thing that happens every so often and you want to find out what it is you can submit the EKG to them and they'll look it over telling you whether it falls within normal parameters or whether what issue they think it may be whether you should follow up with the doctor about it. Now you do have to pay for those uh, readings. It's five dollars to have a technician look at it. It's I think twelve and a half dollars to have a doctor look at it and you can do that as often as you like and so long as it's not a major event that you're having with your heart, something you should go to the emergency room about, it can give you some peace of mind to have somebody knowledgeable take a look at what it says. Here's what you get in the box. The device is very light because it doesn't have the batteries in it right now but it's um, even got a a pocket clip on it so you can just clip it right on your pocket next to your red and blue pens. This is the device itself. The little uh, LED here where you're going to get your um, your wave form once you've unlocked it. In the box you have the instruction book, USB cable, don't recognize that connector type exactly, that plugs into probably yeah, hidden under a little panel here, plugs in here, plugs into your computer so you can use the software with it. A couple batteries, apparently it takes two AAA batteries. Alright, I've read through the instructions which are sort of extensive. If you follow the instructions carefully it's not so hard to deal with but anytime you've got a device that just has a couple buttons and it has to do a number of functions it can get a little complicated if you don't follow along closely. Putting in the two AAA batteries now figured out how I'm supposed to hold this and how the whole deal works with getting it set up and unlocked. I will do a, um, I'll do my first 
test here, the one that I'll have sent in as my free evaluation, and then once they get back in touch with me and hopefully give me the code to unlock it, I'll do a follow-up video showing um, how it works once you can actually see your, your EKG here on the little screen as you're doing it and also how it looks on the computer. All right, here's the screen that you're going to work with. If you wear glasses, be sure to wear them while you're using this. All right, you got four electrodes to work with. Your thumbs go here. You put your fingers over the top of it like that. This one catches this electrode and the side of this finger catches this one. And you got to reach over, hold it for a couple seconds to turn it on. Press start. And then it should give you a six second countdown. And of course you're supposed to stay real still. I won't count this one. And if it hasn't been unlocked, this is what you see, the beeping heart, you will see the EKG waveform here after you've unlocked it. All right, I'm downloading the GEMS home software right now. That's the one that integrates with this, allows you to transfer the EKG settings here, transmit them to the company. I'm going to do that with my first free one so that I'll get this unlocked and then I can get into all the features it has available. A couple of caveats though. One is the software is for Windows XP and Windows 7. They don't say Windows 8. Um, also, it's definitely not for Mac. They don't have a Mac version of it. And another notation is they don't recommend the use of this device if you have a pacemaker. Now, to do a serious recording, they recommend sitting down, relaxing, somewhere where you're relatively upright, putting your arms on a table or a desk, getting in that position, and then staying real still while it records it. So I'll do that and see what numbers I get. Okay, in the GEMS home software, I've set up my user. You do have to have a verifiable email that they can associate with you. And you can put in multiple people as well, which is fairly cool. If you have more than one person in the family that needs this, I suppose that's unfortunate, but at least you can share the device, have your different accounts, and have them monitored separately. I'm now going to plug this in. I've set up my user, as I mentioned, and it wants to find out about the device that I have. All right, the first time you use it, it's a little clunky because it gets partway through the importing and then it stops and says we've got to verify and authenticate and then you got to start over. But anyway, stick with it. It does get through. It, 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 once it's working, it takes five to ten seconds to take the, the EKG file from the device and put it onto the computer in their software and I can see it here. I did, of course, set the date and time, otherwise how would I know which one's which? Um, tells me the heart rate on it, and it's assigned to me, I'm the only user. Now this is the one I've got to upload to them, have their doctor take a look at it as a baseline, as it were, and approve this monitoring device for me. Then I'll, I'll show you in my next video how I get that authentication and how it all unlocks, and uh, what it actually looks like, your uh, EKG waveform here on the device, and how it looks on the computer.